college football has a problem. It's targeting. Targeting is the number one problem right now. If you're a fan of college football, you've probably seen a targeting call or two. And it's just, it's ridiculous. Not only, I get it, okay, 15 yards, but you're also going to take the kid out of the game? What are we doing? I can't even begin to understand why a hit like this... But you got to be smart. ...will throw a kid out of the game. We need to find a way to fix it. As a D1 college athlete, you only get to play so many games as it is. And for that to be taken away from you, just because someone in a very violent sport decides that you were targeting or trying to inflict harm, of course you're trying to inflict harm. It's a very violent sport. I, I just can't begin to understand, okay? So let's look at just one of the five Targeting calls that were made at Ole Miss versus Louisville. Decide and get ready for 2021. Take into account, football's a very violent game. So you'd be looking at a crown of the helmet situation. Let's look at the targeting rules, okay? Right there. What? Okay, so let's look at this. Simply put, the targeting rule prohibits players from making forcible contact against an opponent with the crown of the helmet. You know how hard it is when you're going down for a tackle to not drop your head too? Now, some of y'all in the comments might be like, well, you know, it's the way that they're taught in practice. You're not supposed to use your head. Okay, bozo. When have you ever went for a tackle? Since you're just a huge middle linebacker, were you a D1 recruit? Also, these dudes running at them are like, they're D1 prospects. They run a 4-4, and they're like 285. Bro, you really got to put everything into it, and just naturally, when you go to tackle something, your head's going to go with the rest of your body, and you're going to go like this, and some head-to-head -head contact, since they're also running full speed downhill, and they're dropping their head too. Targeting is a joke. It's an absolute joke. And you're tossing kids, dude. You're tossing kids out of these games, and they don't have that many games to play. What, 13 games in a season? It's embarrassing. Think about the, the great Penn State-Wisconsin game that we had this weekend. Kid gets tossed for targeting. Big linebacker. He's making incredible plays. Four minutes left. He's gone. Of course, Wisconsin is just immediately going to attack him. I mean, the hit, it was a huge hit, but it was tied. Hell, I think they had the lead. And the kid comes downhill against Graham Mertz, and he hits him, and he rocks him. But he rocks him against the sideline. Here's the clip. Of Penn State, oh. and that was Ellis Brooks. Rocks him against the sideline, and none of the players really react. None of the players were really upset about it, where they wanted to like, get up and shove and push their quarterback, because even the other team knew that it was a very solid hit. But what happens? Nebraska's coach takes a timeout, because he knows, he knows he can milk the targeting call. He knows it. It's, it's sick. And we need to be able to find a stop.